I started out this project by cutting a 1 8 inch piece of clear acrylic. There's a scored line that will divide the acrylic in two. This piece has masking on both sides of the acrylic, front and back. On one side of the acrylic, I will engrave a design with the top masking removed and no dish soap on the surface. When done, I will examine the results. Next, I will engrave the same design on the other side with the top masking removed, using the same power and speed settings that I did on the other side. And this side will also have a layer of dish soap on the surface. When done, I will examine the results. So now, I'm going to remove the masking off of one side of the acrylic and load it into the Mira 7. So I open the lid to the Mira 7 and I load the acrylic. Once loaded, I move the laser head over the center of the acrylic so I can do an autofocus. Once autofocused, I load this design into the controller of the Mira 7 and I press start. Once the engraved job starts, you will notice a lot of acrylic residue or dust being blown off by the low pressure internal air assist pump. The settings for this job is 300 speed at 30% power. So now that this job is complete, I will remove the piece from the laser and take it to my workbench for examination. All I can see is that the surface of the acrylic is covered in a loose white powdery dust. I'll have to take this to the sink to brush off all the acrylic residue. Let me go ahead and get this done. Washing off the acrylic dust will allow me to take a better look at the surface of the clear acrylic. So now, to get a better look at the results of this test, I remove the masking from the other side to take a closer look. I can quickly see a lot of scarring of the surface of the acrylic. There is a lot of white shadowing around the edges of most of the engraved areas. And this white shadowing is not coming off. Even if I rub it hard with my finger, it is stuck on the surface. What I think is happening is, the laser is burning the acrylic dust and it's scarring and being welded to the surface of the acrylic. So I now remove the masking off the other side of the acrylic to do part two of this test. I grab the Dawn dishwashing soap from the kitchen and I sprinkle on some soap onto half of the acrylic surface. I then grab a paper towel and I fold it into a small square with the straight edge. I then begin to lightly brush the soap onto the other half of the acrylic. When done, I set it aside and I allow it to dry. Once dry, I take the acrylic piece to the Mira 7 and I load it onto the laser bed. I now load the second engraved job into the controller and then I frame the job to ensure that it is engraving on the soap side of the acrylic. I close the lid to the laser and I press start. And just like the previous job, you can see acrylic dust being blown across the surface by the internal air assist pump. The settings for this job is 300 speed at 30% power, identical to the first job. And now I remove the acrylic piece from the laser and I take it to my workbench for inspection. This time upon inspection, I can see the white acrylic dust, but this time it is not easily removed by my finger because it is stuck to the thin Dawn soap layer. And to get a better look at the surface, let me take this piece to the sink to wash off the dust and the soap using water and a soft toothbrush. Now I'll remove the last piece of masking so I can get a better look at the results of this second test. So let me go ahead and take off the masking real quick and we'll take a close up look. Well guys, I can quickly see that in this test, there is absolutely no white shadowing or scarring of the acrylic surface. I'm guessing that the acrylic dust is burning itself onto the thin layer of Dawn dish soap, and this thin layer prevents it from burning onto the acrylic, but onto the soap layer itself. Well guys, this is gonna wrap up this video. So in conclusion, this side-by-side -side test tells me to not be a dope and use the soap. Doing this will save you time and money. So if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. And also click on my Eon Partner link in the description below. Help me to get compensated so I can continue to bring fresh content. So until my next video, have a great day and see you soon. Adios.